last time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Once you lose with a deck, you cannot use it again. This knife, think of it a bit like a millennial item. In fact, this has been a shadow game. Of silent wins. The truth is that she wants to see us both leave this world. She wants to see our souls leave this plane and go to the shadow realm. And she believes that that is our fate. That we are abominations. That there's nothing left for either of us here except pain and suffering and heartache <sighs> and I just don't want to resign myself to that I don't want to believe that this is how it's all going to have to end Kiora Koto I am the casual Kiwi and this is the final match of the gauntlet I am down to my final deck and so is Silent. Now that Silent has lost Tindangle, OTK, Lair of Darkness Trap Variant, Condemned Counter Fairies, and a Morphage Lair of Darkness. I've struggled to manifest this final deck for you, Silent. But thankfully, I've had help. And so, this final match will be indeed for our lives, rather than the elimination of decks. At the core of the darkness of this deck is a jewel, and that jewel represents silent in mind, body, and soul. Lair of darkness, dark lord. The winner of this match will determine both our fates, and so we'll prepare for the first round. Kiora Koto, I am the casual Kiwi, and we are about to begin the first round. But first, we'll roll the dice to determine who will go first or second. save you but I'm gonna lose myself aren't I? I I want to believe that we're real I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and see at the very least let's try and have fun with this before Whatever's meant to happen, happens. Okay. Um, I got a four and a six, and you got a five and a four. So I get to decide. I will choose to go second. We'll draw, and I'll let you kick things off. Let's move the dice up. Double way. Okay, so you're activating Banishment of the Dark Lords. Gosh, I need to remember what these cards do. I'll just read that quickly. Add one Dark Lord card from your deck to your hand. Except Banishment of the Dark Lords, you can only activate one Banishment of the Dark Lords per turn, okay? Okay, so you're adding Dark Lord content, okay. May I cut? Okay, 
Dark Lord each shell, which you can discard along with another Dark Lord to draw two cards. Okay, Superbia. Oh, okay, this isn't looking good. shuffling that back into the deck. Nassin effect activates and you're bringing back Indulge Dark Lord, okay. Shoot, alright. Okay, so you're activating Indulge Dark Lord. God, I've got to remind myself what this one does as well. Oh, this deck. This card is normal or special summoned. You can take two Dark Lord monsters from your hand or deck with different levels. Except indulge Dark Lord, special summon one of them to your opponent's field. Okay, that won't be good for my Time Lords in defense position. And add the other card to your hand. Also, you cannot activate monster effects for the rest of this turn except fairy monsters. Okay, you can only use this effect of indulge Dark Lord once per turn. Shoot, okay. So you're adding Capricious Dark Lord to your hand and summoning Dark Lord Marie to my side of the field. Okay. I'll cut. This is just getting worse and worse. You haven't used your normal summon yet. Okay, during the main phase, quick effect, you can activate this effect. Tribute summon one through. I see why you didn't give this to me. Tribute summon one fairy monster face up. If this card is sent to the graveyard, 
You can make all monsters your opponent can only control as well, okay? But each three monster on the field until the end of this turn. You can only use each effective pressure start for once per turn, okay? The Condemned Dark Lord. Just wondering when we would see this card. You can tribute summon fairy monsters that require two tributes by banishing two monsters from your graveyard instead of tributing. You can discard one card, take one Dark Lord monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Once per turn, during your end phase, gain 500 life points for each fairy monster on the field. Okay. Okay, so you're setting one card. That's my turn. Okay, that means that Condemned Dark Lord's effect activates. I'll draw for turn. Okay, let me think for a second. I'll begin by setting two cards. Um, I've got Dark Lord Marie's on the field, so I can't. Okay, with that in mind, yeah, I'm gonna risk it. All your silent, I pass back to you. Effect, you're going to pay another a thousand and then what are you shuffling back? So, a copy of Dark Lord, Dark Lord Contact. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I will cut. Special summon back superbia, okay. What's going on here? Have link five, do those exist? Zodia the Legendary Defender Cannot be special summoned You can tribute five monsters To tribute summon this card Its attack and defense Become the combined original attack and defense Of the tributed monsters If this card summoned this way Destroys a Dark Fiend monster Owned by your opponent you win the duel at the end of the damage step. Oh shit. Okay. Um, uh, okay, I am going to at this point chain to the activation of Exodia, or the summon of Exodia. I am going to activate Hop Ear Squadron. I will summon it to the field and I will Synchro summon Hop Ear with Dark Lord Marie. I 
am going to bring out Black Rose Dragon. And I will activate Black Rose Dragon's effects. When this card is synchro summoned, you can destroy all cards on the field. There's no way this Exodia play is going off. You're going to chain Mystic Watch. Ooh, okay. So that allows you to tribute a monster and you gain either its attack or defense. Oh god, okay, yep, sure, that is fine. I will chain onto your Mystic Walk. Celestial Transformation to Special Summon onto my field. Raphion the Time Lord. Which cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. So Black Rose Dragon destroys itself and destroys my set double or nothing. Whew, okay. But my Rathion holds down the field. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, um Okay, I can't do that. Shoot, okay. Um crap, okay, but you've normal summoned at the very least, and you only have one card, so you can't do any dark blue plays. Is it my turn? Okay, it's my turn. Okay. So Raphion will shuffle himself back into the deck. And then I will draw for turn. Actually, I'll let you cut first. as much damage as I can because you're on okay, okay so quick maths time so Exodia the legendary defender was summoned using Nastin Exchell Indulged Condemned and Superbia okay give me a minute So looking at this, you have 18,200 life points right now. <sighs> okay, okay. This is going to be tricky. I'm not sure of... What am I going to do about this? Um, okay, I am going to normal summon. Summon the Time Lord, and I will go to Battle Phase, and I will attack you directly for no damage until we go to the main Phase 2, and we activate Sandion's effect, which will burn you for 2,000 damage. I am going to pass turn back to you, Silent. All yours. for Dark Lord Marie, you gain 200 life points. This card is in your graveyard to activate and resolve. Okay, Dark Lord Contact, what are you going to bring back? There's a lot of Dark Lords in there. Which 
then activates. And then you bring out X Chow. Okay. Oh shoot, going back on the extra deck, okay. Condemned Dark Lord. Oof. Okay. An unusual play. Not sure quite where you go from here. At least that last card is a Dark Lord. Cyberstone. Okay. Okay, I see where this is going. I'm not going to risk it. You've got some sort of plan in mind to get rid of Sandy on. So I am going to activate at this moment Hop Ear Squadron. I will summon Hoppier to my side of the field and I will synchro summon Geomathmech Final Sigma which while it is in the extra monster zone is unaffected by other cards effects and has 3000 attack points Okay, you're activating Cyberstein, okay Ooh, Emperor Trilosh, okay. Oh, okay, you've got a few more options than I was thinking, okay. This card is special summoned or of another monster. There's special summoned, okay, from the graveyard. Okay, but it has 4,000 attack. Okay, this has been a mistake. Oh god, okay. Again? Okay, okay, how much do you have to pay? So it's 5,000 life points per summon. Oh god, but you've got over 10,000. Okay, yes, that's fine. The Morning Star. How that card taunts me. That he gave me the ability to bring you back after you had drowned after your accident and then but why? if you knew how this was going to play out why did you do that? why wouldn't you change things? Why not give me the ability here to change things? It's all just lies? <sighs> okay, so we're going to activate Morning Star's effect, which would be to pay a thousand to bring back a so the Dark Fairy. So you switch just plowing over my cards. Um, special summon one fairy monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. Okay. Superbia. Okay. And then that's going to activate as well. And it's going to bring back X Chow. Okay. This is not looking good at all. Number XX Utopic Dark Infinity. That's two level tens. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna activate. So we're gonna activate it and going to detach. Okay. Exhale and then. One monster that was special summoned, you're going to gain that many life points. Okay. And you're going to save the first Dark Lord, so that's 4,000 additional life points to you. Oh god, okay. Um, yeah, that's... I can't, can't stop any of this. Borolo Dragon, and you're going to attack, and that's going to crash 
Okay, so Oral Load and Geomet are both destroyed. But that is the end of the first round of the final match of the gauntlet. And I have lost this round. Ouch! That was brutal. Okay, we will prepare for the next round. Kiora Koto, I am the casual Kiwi and this is the second round of the final match of the gauntlet. I am using pure Time Lords and Silent is using her Lair of Darkness Dark Lords. <sighs> I unfortunately did lose quite dramatically last round so I am going to be going second and hoping for the best. So I'll let you start off silent. All yours. You know, I really... I'm really sorry, silent. I used, I used this, I used Yu-Gi-Oh as an escape when it used to be a passion of ours. I spent so much time out there at the card shops when you clearly needed me. And I know I should have been dead for you. Danger Mothman. Okay, so you're discarding that and then we both Okay, discard one from the card from your hand. And if it was not Danger Mothman, then you can special summon one Danger Mothman from your hand, and if you do draw one card, this card's discarded, we both draw a card and both discard. Okay. So you'll shuffle those up and I will choose a card. Okay. I'm gonna go for this one, right on the end there. And it is Danger Mothman. Okay, so we both draw, and we both discard one, and Danger Mothman goes to the graveyard. I will discard Time Maiden. You'll discard... Second copy of Mothman, okay, just clearing your hand all right then. All good with me. Okay, my turn. I shall draw for turn. Looks like things are turning out okay so far. I have bricked. God damn it. You were everything to me, and I just... I just let you go. This was our passion. And to think if I had been there when you had driven your car out that night, I could have stopped things. But there I was at the card shop. Ah. I love you. Why couldn't I have been there for you when it mattered? The signs. <sighs> okay, I will normal summon Mission the Time Lord. <laughs> and I will activate Celestial Transformation. 
to special summon Sandai on the Time Lord. So we're reducing its attack to 2000, its effect is still very much in force. I'll go to battle phase and I'll attack with Mission and I'll attack with Sandion. At the end of the battle phase, Mission will halve your life points and then Sandion will make you lose an additional 2000. Putting you down on 2000 life points. New Zealand when something's ruled as when a death I admit it, when a death is ruled well when it's a deliberate they don't report on it. You had no family but me. What was I to do? I had to bring you back silent. You deserved more in life than what you had and I could do better by you. I just want us to see another day. I will overlay Mission and Sandayon the Time Lord to make Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max. I activate Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max's effects, detaching Sandai on the Time Lord to burn you directly for 2000 life points and ending the second round of the match. down to this in one final round. Kiora Koto, I am the casual Kiwi and this is the final round of the final match of the gauntlet. I will cut Silent Stick. I am once again playing Pure Time Lords and Silent is playing Lear of Darkness, Dark Lords. It's going to get very intense from here on out. So that's my warning up front. Because neither of us are going to be holding back. Do you wish to go first or second? First? Very well. I will let you kick things off. Okay, you're discarding Superbia and Extra to draw two cards, that is fine. Contact, okay. So you're going to bring back, I'd imagine, Superbia in defense. Okay. <sighs> yeah, she feels so good. Activating Lair of Darkness. Facing one, and over to me, interesting, hmm, maybe you have plans, Silent, I will be ready, I draw off a turn, okay, and I will set one card, I normal summon Mission. Actually, no. I normal summon Sandion, the Time Lord. And then I activate Celestial Transformation, allowing me to special summon Mission, the Time Lord. This feels right. 
Sand Aeon, attack! Attack Dark Lord Exchal, destroying her. And then Mission, attack Superbia. And in the main phase, Mission's effect activates, halving your life points. And Sand Aeon's effect activates, bringing you for an additional 2,000. I overlay Mission and Sandion to bring out Super Dreadnought, Rail Cannon, Gustav Max. Any response? Yes. Oof, Super Polymerization. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Ugh. Discarding Dark Lord Contact. Okay. Okay. I will special summon Time Mage. And I will use it to search out. Raphion, the Time Lord. And I will let you cut. Okay. Ah, top. And I will pass back to you, Silent. All yours. Synchro Time Lord. Try to run this in my own deck. Can it be destroyed by battle or card effects? You take no battle damage from attacks involving this card at the end of the damage step, which means that this card activates before any Time Lord can. Any other Time Lord can. If this card that was special summoned from the extra deck battled, you can activate this effect to banish all monsters your opponent controls. Also, for the rest of this term, halve the battle damage your opponent takes. Once per turn during the end phase, if this effect was activated this turn, special summon as many monsters as possible that you banished with this card affects your opponent's field. Shoot, that's going to be really hard to deal with because you can prevent any of my time lords activating their effects as long as Warp Gate is on the field. Shoot. My turn. I can do this. I can do this. Oh, my cards, why are my cards always on the ground? I will. I, I must draw for turn. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Those three, what can I do with them? Even if I was to use Time Maiden's effect to summon out additional Time Wars, they'd all get banished anyway. I have no choice but to pass turn back to you, Silent. Okay, Dark 
Cloud contact again. Why aren't you helping me? Isn't this meant to be my fate? Shoot, number 20, Utopic Dark Infinity. Type one other face up, special symbol to your control. Gain life points equal to its original attack. You can only use each effect of number XX. You turn a duck and fanny once per turn. No! I won't let you activate that effect. No! No! No. No. Shit. Shit. <sighs> you attack the seven sins. Oh, I take four thousand damage. I'm almost dead. Shit. This is not over. My turn. I have battled through everything, Silent. I have shown you that life is worth living, that I love you. Why do you resist? I draw for turn. Yes, this is it. These, these cards will do it. These cards will really do it. Silent. It is time that you truly embrace the darkness. I will bury you seven feet deep. Just like I did. Just like I will do. And just like I will continue to do, I activate Hidden Armory. I add Psychic Blade to my hand. I let you cut when I read Sins. You can XYZ this card using a rank 10 or 11 Dark XZ's monster you control as the XZ material. If summoned this way, following effect cannot be activated on its turn. Once per turn, you can detach two XZ's materials from this card, banish as many special summon monsters your opponent controls as possible. Then attach one of those banished monsters to card as XZ's material. If this face up card in the field will be destroyed by battle card effects, you can attach one from this card instead. I will not let. Win this. I will obliterate you, Silent. I will send you to oblivion. From my hand, I activate Psychic Blade using another 2000 of my life points. Wait. No, I can't do that. I use all but 100 of my life points. There will be no escape this time, Silent. You will embrace the darkness. I will give you a legacy that will be remembered. I normal summon Raffi on the Time Lord. Then I attack number 77 for seven sins. And at the end, 
of the battle phase. I... I... I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. I... I can't. I, I won't. I won't become that... I won't become that monster. I won't. Silent I... I know you still want to kill me. I know that... I... I... I should have been there for you. I should have been there for you when you were alive. I should have... My time was always up. I should have realized that. I can't become what you think I am. I won't become what you are. I reject you. I will not win this. I, I surrender. I surrender the gauntlet silent. The match is yours. Your fate, my fate, is in your hands. And I'll have to surrender my very soul. Another gauntlet completed. Team Casual shall reign buried by silence. Yet you seem peaceful, perhaps because, unlike in my timeline, you were able to finally let go. Until we meet again, now me. Good night. Always in white, do you see? As you twist the tiles.